right? It's, it still obeys rule one, but it's wrong, right? It's not symmetric. The field strength is concentrated here. Over here, field strength is weak. You see? So again, over here, it shouldn't be more concentrated than here. It should be similar to the top over here. Okay, rule number three, they should never cross. Like, um, you can't go like, uh, like this, for example. <laughs> you know, you can't cross them. What would that mean if they cross? What would the E-field strength at the cross point equal? There's two, uh, there's two reasons why you can't cross them. One is uh, it would indicate that the E-field is infinite at the cross point. There's two field lines crossing through the same infinitely small point. The E field strength is infinite there. So it, uh, nature doesn't like infinities. Second, if you put an object at that point, it doesn't know where to go. Does it go, uh, if you put a negative charge, for example, does it go this way or does it go this way? And uh, nature doesn't like uncertainties, okay? So doesn't like infinities, doesn't like uncertainties. So you can't cross E field. <clears throat> uh, so it needs to be symmetric, needs to be, uh, the lines need to be proportional, they should never cross. Okay, so now using that, let's practice some. How about something like this? Okay, plus charge, plus charge. If they're both plus or they're both negative, then it doesn't come out of the plus and go into the negative, right? They're because they're both plus. So the field lines have to come out of both of them. So, uh, so uh, let's see, one comes out like this. What happens in this case is somewhere right in the middle, the electric field is going to be zero, right? Uh, this thing pushes and this thing pushes, so the electric field is zero. So Imagine it, that there is an asymptotic line right there, like that. Uh, if, you ha if you put an object right here, what's the direction of the force that that object feels? Uh, this one pushes it, this one pushes it, right? And only the y component survives. So this is what it's going to happen. It's going to come out like this and uh, goes straight up. Let's see here. You know what? Let me just draw like this. Let me draw it a little bit to the uh, up above like this. Okay, symmetric, 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 symmetric. Then the one coming out the other end like that. And then here another one we could go like that.
Looks nice, huh? Now, based on this, then, you can go on to uh, harder examples. You could say, well, what if it's going to look like plus q plus 2q? Now the asymptote moves closer to this one, right? So uh, the electric field is 0 somewhere here, a little closer here. OK, so go up. Go down, go up, go down, go up, down, up, down. Now, this one you got to make sure has twice as many as that. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one needs to have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You know what? I shouldn't do the middle one because I need an even number. If I put the middle one, I'm going to end up with an odd number. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then I could do uh, 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. See, because if I do the middle one, then I end up with an odd number. You see? So I, you got to make sure you see how I kept symmetry, and I kept the right ratio. I have 14, and uh, I have one over there, OK? <coughs> uh, let's do one a little bit different. How about something like this? Negative 2q, a rod which has a negative 2q charge, and a positive 3q. Uh, interesting combo, right? So if I were to give you some problem like this on the test, I might word it this way. Draw the E-field configuration of the rod and the point charge with, uh, with uh, uh, six lines, for example, six lines coming out or into the rod. OK? That means the, if I tell you that the rod has six lines, how many lines should the point charge have? It has to be ratio of 3 to 2, right? So if the rod is 6, point charge should have 9. R ratio of 3 to 2. So then, do the symmetry here. Uh, so if I need 6 here, I could go, for example, um, One, two, three, four, five, six, rod, six lines going into the rod. So now, three lines coming out of the, this one. Three. I need nine. So I need an odd number. So I could do this one. That's, uh, let's see, three, four, uh, five, okay, five. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight. Let's see, no, something wrong happened. Hold on, hold on. I shouldn't do the middle one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight, nine. There you go. I shouldn't do the middle one since uh, I'll end up with an even there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 6. Okay. So practice that.